My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 67 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at the following questions from the Flash Learners Jam application. Remember, we are still dealing with geometry and trigonometry. This question says, what is the perimeter of a sector of a circle of radius 14 centimeter, which sustains 90 degrees at the center, perimeter of the sector. This is a circle. This is the center. And we are told that the radius is 14 centimeter. Radius is the distance from the center of the circle to any part. If you are drawn here like this, this is radius. And the radius here is 14 centimeter. Centimeter. And the father went ahead to say that it sustains an angle of 90 degrees. There can't be angle unless there is meeting point of two lines. For this guy to sustain an angle here, it means there is another radius coming down here to form angle 90 degrees here. So what we are looking for is the perimeter of the sector, which is here like this here is also 14 centimeter and here l that we need to look for this is the arc so we need to find the length of arc as well what formula do we need or when you see a question like this to look for perimeter of a sector what do you do perimeter of a sector is two arrows plus L. Perimeter of a sector is 2 arrow plus L. What is arrow? Arrow is the radius. And what is L? L is equals length of arc. And length of arc is theta over 360 times 2 pi arrow. Anytime you are given the question to find length of arc, it is theta over 360 times 2 pi r. From here, I think food is ready. Obviously, if you are looking for perimeter of this circle, perimeter means all the sides, everything. If you add here and here, then you find the length of this arc. Everything should be okay for you. So the perimeter is equals 2 times radius, 2 times 14, plus theta over 360 times 2 pi arrow. Substituting, this is 2 times 14. Let's just settle this side. 28 plus theta is 90 degrees. So 90 over 360. 90 over 360 times 2 times 2, times pi. Did they ask us to take pi to be anything? The answer is not in terms of pi, so we need to put the value of pi, which is obviously 22 over 7. Then times arrow, radius once again, and radius is still 14. 14. So 28 plus 90 over 360 times 2, times 22 over 7 times 14. That will be the answer. And ladies and gentlemen, to your biggest surprise, the answer is 50 meters. That is the answer. Pardon? It's in terms of centimeter. So that is 50 
the perimeter. That is the perimeter for this sector. Now that makes option A the correct option. If you look at this question, this diagram, and the previous question, you will notice that it makes a lot of sense. In fact, from the previous question, you arrive at something like this, and they say, find a particular angle. This question says, in the diagram above, find angle O, P, Q. This is O, this is P, and this is Q. The one at the middle, that is where the angle will be. Angle O, P, Q is the angle between O and P, which is here. Let's call the angle A degrees. And this is a triangle, which means there should be another angle here. Looking at this diagram, this is a triangle inscribed in a circle. There is something that I am seeing that you are not seeing. There, it is clear that this is the center of the circle. And this is a line from the center to the, to the end of the circle, or to end inside of the circle. If you look at here again, this is a line from the center to the side of the circle. This will obviously be radius. From here to here is radius. From here to here is also radius. For a single circle or for one circle, radius is obviously the same. It doesn't change. So, this length is equal to this length, which means here is equal to here. For any triangle where we have two sides to be the same, it simply means the base angle will also be the same. Since we have 74 degrees here, anything we have here, that is what we will have here. So if here, here is 8 degrees, here will also be 8 degrees. Here, food is almost ready. We know that the sum of angles in a triangle is equals 180 degrees. That shows that if we add 74 degrees to a degrees to this other A degrees, we should arrive at 180 degrees. This is 74 degrees plus A degrees plus A degrees. That is 2A degrees is equals 180 degrees. 2A degrees is equals 180 degrees minus 74 degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, that should give us 106 degrees. So to get A degrees, we divide both sides by 2. 106 divided by 2, that should give us 53 degrees. So the value of A is 53 degrees. Here is 53 degrees, and here is also 53 degrees. That is basically it. And that makes a lot of sense. That is it. This brings us to the end of this episode. And I trust you find it interesting, and I hope you found something helpful. Let your friends know about it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment box. And feel free to get the Flash Tenors application for further studies. See ya in the next episode.